Greetings and welcome adventurers to another episode of Let's Play Neverwinter Nights Shadows of London Tide. Right, let's go explore the camp a bit. You know, do all the fun stuff. Hold! Xanos wishes to speak! Oh, and what does Xanos wish to say? The power of this crystal is Mithala. Are you sure? You can keep, you can handle it. You should not the Xanos keep it safe. <laughs> ah, you laugh at Xanos. I do not know why I put up with you sometimes. The power that Garrick has said is within this crystal though. It is awesome. If this master of Jinnah lay hands on it. Then we have to kill the master. Ha! Huh. You are truly you are awfully confident for someone who has had such trouble so far. Indeed, it is only because of Xanos that you have come as far as you have. Ha! Huh. But it may be better if you keep the Mithlar in your care. So long as you recognize what it is you care. That one crystal, if used improperly, could destroy us all, and the rocks and sand for miles around. It is dangerous, yet therein lies its lure. If you could not let me hold it, try to... No! I... I do not think I should be thirsty to handle it. It is perhaps too tempting. Keep it. Keep the crystal. Keep it safe. And we shall see what utility it may prove to be later. Yes, let's do that. But in the meantime, actually, let's have a look around the camp. Let's actually talk to the merchant for, for uh, you know, supplies. I greet you. Welcome to Musharak's fine desert emporium. I am Musharak, sole proprietor and scrounger of the only mid anorak mercantile business. How might I serve you today, good lady? Would you care to see Mushrak's generous supply of goods at low, low prices? Aren't you a hobgoblin? My, you are terribly observant. I assure you, I, Mushrak, I have the body of a hobgoblin, but I have the mind of an elf and the heart of a dwarf. And do not worry, their original owners were well compensated. Ha! We shall have to tell that one to little Dorna. It will be as much fun as turning invisible and pulling the tail of a wildcat. I think that's a typo, but sure. If only I had the feet of a halfling, I would be the most well-rounded individual in the realms. Hmm. Well, anyways. Was there more to your question? How did you get along with the Aeowists? They really are an interesting little group. So long as they keep their religious ideas to themselves, and keep paying me for the supplies they need. It was very kind of them to allow me to take over the trading water to the Bedeen. I was afraid they might put up a fuss, but they looked at my guard, Ludo, and shrugged. Say hello to the nice lady, Ludo. <laughs> See? We are all getting along so well. How lovely. Now, how would you like to browse my wares and maybe make a purchase or two? What kind of things do you sell? If you want it, I can get it. Well, so long as you're not trying to buy any of the AOS wine, that just mean I can be so frustrating, and the minister is even worse. Well, tell me about this wine. Have you ever experienced a moment in life where the universe suddenly comes to a halt? Do you think you are on the verge of understanding all the deepest questions about life? Have you ever stood on the precipice of a mountain with any more? Surrounded by fog, and then suddenly the sun rose, the fog lifted, and it was like you were seeing perfection. I do not pretend to be a poet, friend, but my first sip of this wine changed the way I look at life. That was the moment I knew and I could live in this desolate place and still feel fulfilled. That is how good it is. You have stolen their only source of income, why should they share with you? 
That is a good question. It is irrelevant, however, as they will not even listen to me on this matter. Maybe someday I shall convince them, or they will get a new minister who might take my office more seriously. Would you like me to try to get you a supply? Would I like to find a beautiful intelligent hobgoblin woman wandering the desert looking for a mate? Of course I would, but I think it rather unlikely. I am a very persuasive man, but they will not budge for me. Still, if you are welcome to try, I would be willing to pay handsomely for such a deal. How does 2,000 gold sound? Well, that would be enough. That would be good. Very well. If you are successful, I shall pray to Dulfokri that your life will be free from treachery. Is there anything else? Uh, let's see your goods. Every item is wonderfully crafted and will never break, bruise, spoil, or run out of charges, unless it is designed to do so. Now, at these favorable, which is already a step up from Katriana. Uh, right, let's get uh, busy selling crap. As you know, we don't need all this stuff. Will. A lot of stuff we don't really need anymore. We don't need any of these bullets. Uh, no, I, I don't really need diamonds either. You might as well take advantage of the fact that he is going to buy. Alright. Very out of wisdom. I don't really need more wisdom at the moment. Just sell all my stuff. I can't use the thieves tools anyway. I'll sell this spear yet as well. Let's see. I don't need the long sword. Is there anything in this bag? No. Right. A cloak of protection. Just not as good as my Albert stuff. Let's get these Hells of the Vampire away. Right, and let's bring up your inventory. Right, let's get selling this Blackguard armor. And we don't use a scythe, so let's get rid of that as well. Right, I think that's probably all you need to do. Alright, let's bring up our inventory again. Alright, do you have anything useful? You have Boots of Shifting Sands. What does that do? Uh, it gives me a dexterity penalty for minus one. Haste, sus. And allows us to use Earthquake once a day. Mm. Don't think that's worth it. I mean, we're already vulnerable enough as it is. Lowering my uh, dexterity doesn't seem like a good idea. Extra armor bonus and a saving throws. Stone skin would be nice. Versus my boots of fortitude. Which gives me a dodge modifier. Mm. Uh, I don't suppose you have better boots like that. I mean, the gargoyle boots are not bad, per se. But I'm not really built for armor, uh, armor. So unless you have something better, skin of the manticore. Hmm. I thought for sure this one would have dropped off the manticore in the uh, scorpion layer, but I guess I was wrong. You get it here. All right, it's a cloak of protection, cloak of movement. Yeah, that doesn't really do me any good. I really have a cloak of fortification. And I don't really feel like snazzing up uh, Xanos' build. Uh, I will buy a couple of these. See, 
you don't have any other items of particular value. I think the Nomad's Ring what does that do? Ooh! Bonus spells, eh? Well, this is my Ring of Scholars and my Ring of Resistance. That actually it would be nice. And I can afford it. So, yes please. Because uh, this gives me a bonus to lore. I'm pretty sure my lore is quite good enough as it is. And do I want anything else? I don't suppose you have any scrolls of restoration on here. Do you? Yeah, resurrection is nice, but not really what I want. Uh, potion of speed, antidote. Yeah, I guess that'll do. I greet you. Let's have some questions for him. Some questions about you. Let's see. What is this crown? Let's just say when you are interested in purchasing an item that I did not have to have in stock, I would c contact certain friends and see if I could find something you might find worth purchasing. If you needed something a little faster than my friends could get. Uh, then my friends could give me, I could scrunch around and see what I could find. It could be a cloak or a rope, perhaps. A magical rope is a, <clears throat> is a good thing. Xanos always likes something that provides protection. Sure, there might be a small tear and a spot of blood in it, but if you're in a hurry... Could you do that for me? Well, I certainly could. But you should probably peruse the one of the stock I already have, as the effort it takes to scrounge up a magical item makes the cost somewhat prohibitive. Besides, I can take an awfully long time to reach my contacts, and it would likely be gone before the item arrived. If you would like, I can take a look around the encampment and see if you have anything interesting. That is a bit of time for my day, however. If you want me to see what I can find, it will cost you a hundred gold. See what you can find. I'll stop working on that right away. In the meantime, is there anything else I can help you? I'll ask some more questions. Let's see what brought you out here. It's very hard for a hobgoblin to make a living in large civilized cities. And hobgoblin communities are simply too dangerous. So I came to the desert to sell supplies to the Bedeen. Then I heard about the encampment. The Oist was selling water to the Bedeen for pitifully low prices. So I came here for a visit. I like what I saw, so I decided to settle down here. You like the Aeolists? They really are an interesting little group. So long as they keep their... How many that is themselves? Yeah, right. I already had that one. Uh, ask something else. Nah, no, wait, let's... Don't need to talk about... Ask about the Aeolists. Right, so he spoke of a Yasmin, which I believe is back here. Yasmina. She has an awesome pet. Nice leopard. Bit of out of place in the desert, but you know. Kinda neat. This Bedeen woman has a very earthly quality to her appearance. Earthy appearance. Hail and well met. Greetings, traveller. You have the look of one who has journeyed a long ways, yet still has far to go. I bet you say that to everyone. Not true. Not everyone who comes to this camp is simply passing through. Neither are you, I suspect. You are here for a very specific reason. Though I know not what. How do you know anything about me? I saw you arrive with the caravan. The fact that the wizards returned from the Valley of Winds also today it hardly seems a coincidence. Who are you? My name is Yasmina. This is my girl, simple as it may seem. I tend it with affection regardless. And the wine made from the fruit of these plants is well loved by the worshippers here. So you are a druid? I am. The provenance of a druid is not solely that of verdant hills and forests. Nature exists here in the desert as well, and its caretaking requires the same caution. 
I don't know, it seems like a lot of water to waste on plants to grow in a desert, but I suppose you have a point. What is the Bedeen doing amongst these worshippers? We're paying a debt. When I was young, a child, I still lived with my father Bedeen. I became lost in the desert one day, and the air was throughout me near death. They nursed me back to health, and so I have stayed here to perform this one task for them. They revere the desert wine, so I'm glad to make it. Oh, so this is where the famous Airwest wine is grown. Yes, it is no great orchard, I'm sure. It is in more fertile lands. Indeed, I did not coax this gentle life <coughs> from the sand. It would not even grow here. It is an old tradition amongst the druids of my people. The wine is sacred and used in meditations and rare rituals. The Airwest have adopted this custom, and I'm glad to provide it for them. Is there any way I could get some of this wine? I'm afraid that's impossible. You need to speak to the minister in the temple, but I'm sure he will refuse. Well, Musharraf wants to sell this wine of yours. Yes, uh, so he does. He is a greedy creature, even for a merchant. Whether or not the wine is sold anywhere, however, it's the minister's decision, not mine. Well, I could persuade him a her or intimate, but I don't feel like doing that. I'll talk to the minister then. That would be best. I should go. I could ask about the value of the winds, but you know... I think we've already got enough information about that. Uh, none of these A worshippers are really all that interested to talk to. In my opinion. Because they don't really say anything useful. And the most useful person here is the minister of Ao. This is the minister of the Ao encampment. And here we have uh, Rifkin. This is one of the Ao worshippers. Okay. We have Talisika. And we have Telnix. I greet you, my child. Welcome to the humble abode of we few followers of the Lord Ao, my lady. Who are you? My name is unimportant, as are all personal details about the life I once led before I came here. Like the god I follow, I am a strong believer in privacy. Right? Tell me about Ao. There is so little, yet so much to tell. I hardly know where to begin. Is there anything, anything specific you would like to know? Well, who is Ao? Ah, that is a good question. Not much is known about of Lord Ao. You see, he is called an overpower of the great cosmos. Well, what does that mean, really? Is the father of the gods or are just more powerful than they? Some claim that he doesn't even exist. Indeed, we don't know of Ao until his appearance on Faerun during the time of troubles. Ah, that would explain why he is suddenly so familiar. But it is said that Eo is the one who banished the gods from the heavens, and that he is he who led them back. One who holds such sway over the lives of gods deserves compensation. Why come out here then? This is a place of relative quiet and remote enough that we are not distracted from our meditations. We meditate on and debate on the merits of Lord Eo in the hope we will prove ourselves one day worthy of his notice. This encampment is also free of persecution from those who lack understanding of our situation. Since some of our followers will here worship in unusual ways, it seems better we be distant from others. What do you mean? Well, take Rifkin here, for example. He finds mental clarity through pain. He was once a follower of Lovitar, but decided that her church was too evil. He sought balance. It is true. I can understand much that I never knew. But it only comes into focus when the pain strikes my nerves. Now he scourges himself and meditates on Ao, a practice not accepted at many other places. Rifkin is perhaps the most unusual case, but I'm sure you can see that what I mean. This is place is our sanctuary. Why do you worship Ao? You mean why do I personally? I do not wish to speak of such things. I lost faith in something grand once and both curiosity and survival instinct led me here. I shall always be grateful for that. What benefit is there to worshipping Ao? 
If you refer to the benefits of divine power, very little. We are granted no spells, no magical powers, nothing. What we do is believe that someday Ao shall hear us and reward our devotion. When that day comes, we shall have the true benefit of understanding. True understanding shall come through peace, and that is what we seek. Other gods demand faith, but what do they uh, do besides divide us? Ao is greater than them all, and it is to him that we owe our attention. How does one become a follower of Ao? I'm pretty sure I'm, by the way, I'm pronouncing Ao wrong. I don't care. It's two letters that have a very, very simple pronunciation in my eyes, and ears. There is a test of wisdom to see if one has the right state of mind. Then you must only follow your own path to seek the great god. There is no dogma to practice here. Well, can I try this test? If you wish. Saying the test does not make one a follower unless that is your wish. Nothing is forced on anyone by A. If you become a follower of this religion, Matheza, Zanans will lose even more respect for you. Lighter than air, heavier than the mountains, longer than a river, shorter than a breath, without end, yet always finished. What am I? Uh, thought. What a magnificent insight. I do believe that is the best answer I have ever heard. Could it be possible? Could this be the one we've been waiting for? Yes, yes, it must be her. This is what we have sought. I, I suppose it could be. It was a very good answer, after all. What are you talking about? You are the Avatar, the incarnation of a god. You are Eo. What? Wait now. What are you talking about? This she is not Eo. Yes, she is. I can sense her power now. My great lady, thank you for coming to us. Ha! Take care, Eo. Your worshippers might do something in their religious zeal that you might not care for. Still, this is an interesting opportunity. Praise heaven, you have come to us at last. How would you like me to beat myself for your worship, hot and holy Eo? What do you think, High Priest? I think my flock has lost a few sheep, that's what I think. I can't believe you started this. Me? How did I start this? Well, no, not really, but this isn't just the way we are supposed to behave. Ayo only knows how we will live this down. Bring me gifts! I have a gift for you, great lady. Come and speak to me and you shall have my gift. Me too, Holy Hill. Speak to me. I don't know about this. You should speak to me first. Great. Now look at what you have done. I need to meditate. Leave me out of this. Yes. And we shall reap our rewards soon enough. <laughs> Thank you all for watching. See you all next time.